Hey everyone, Michael Mowbray here. I just downloaded the brand new version of Portrait Pro, version 23. Portrait Pro is a, a kind of a retouching software that I use lightly on a lot of headshots. Um, there's a lot of different control in there. There's a lot of really cool stuff. There's a, It's really, really easy to go way too far and make people look super weird and super plastic. So I caution you, if you've never used it before, um, be very, very gentle and light on how you apply it. But I do like it as a tool. It does streamline my workflow. And one of the things I noticed in the new version is it has a stray hair removal tool, which is awesome. So let's see how this works. I'm going to make a copy of this layer that I'm working on here. And I'm going to go up into filters. And you find it in filters and anthropics or anthropics. I don't know. I don't know. Don't care how it's pronounced. All right. You can see it's going through the process of determining um, whose face it is. Is it a female? Is it a male? Is it a child? It's an AI in here that goes in and maps the face and maps where the nose and the eyebrows and the mouth and the teeth and the eyes and all that kind of stuff are. And then it's going to go in and automatically give you uh, kind of a retouched look. You can see a kind of the before and after. Before, after. Now you can see it took away a lot of her freckles and it changed their face shape. And I'm just going to go in and just, I don't want to change your face shape. Unless somebody asks me to change your face shape, I'm not going to change your face shape. Yeah, no? Because we can go really crazy. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, but that's not what we're here for. I'm actually just going to turn face shape off. Up here on the top is what the new thing is. I've got a stray hair removal tool. I can choose light hairs on a dark background or dark hairs on a light background. I'm going to choose light hairs on a dark background. Hair thickness is set to 30. Let's set it a little higher. Let's set it up to 40 because there's some clumps in here. I want to see if... So it'll be interesting to see how this works. Um, that looks like about the right size brush. So I'm just going to start over here. And holy crap, look at that. Wow. Now let's see if I intrude on the scalp a little bit. Yeah. A little bit too much so you have to be a little careful that you don't get too crazy with this and start to get into the hairline that you want to keep I can see it's missing a few but it's getting most of them that I want to get here look at that I mean it's a lot quicker than going in with a healing brush in my opinion because I can just go in and just basically draw almost like a loose shape around her here and I like the color. I like to use this whole painting color technique just by using my Wacom pen here. All right, so it's not doing a great job on this cluster down here on the lower right that I would really love to get rid of. So let's see how it works on the. <gasps> it works on the jacket. Cool. Like that. That's cool. Nice. How about over here? <gasps> that works too. Wow, kind of a nice tool. Okay, what about this clump over here? I like everything else that's done. A little bit of stuff over here. I might still have to go in with a um, little healing brush when I pull this back into Photoshop. But I wonder if I can get a lot of this stuff done. So let's see. Let's take the hair thickness thing up. I have not read a tutorial. I haven't watched any videos. Uh, that's not working. How about let's make it smaller? <laughs> yeah, that's not working either. How about switch dark hairs on a light background? No, that did not work at all. Bad, ooh, evil, nasty. Okay. <laughs> Just having fun playing around here. Let's take the size of the brush up. Yeah, it doesn't I didn't think that was going to make any difference, but what if we go smaller? No, that really shouldn't make any difference at all. So Real quick test on this. Come on, give me a move tool. Did a pretty good job. Let's go before, after, before, after, before, after. And I should turn off. You got skin smoothing going on here. That's it always comes in very aggressive on skin smoothing. Pull that back. Pull that way back. You just need just a little bit. There we go. And we can go in and do all these other things. You're gonna enhance the eyes. Um, you can brighten the iris. Wow. 
<laughs> and do all kinds of other things. Um, but really what I wanted to take a look at was that that um, straight hair removal tool. In general, I feel like it's going to save me some time. I mean, it's a little trickier down here, but um, I think this might be worthwhile. So let's take it back. Save what we did. Oh, yeah. Much gooder. Cool. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, it's called Portrait Pro version 23. It's from a company called Anthropics or Anthropix, A-N-T-H-R-O-P-I-C-S. It's a tool I've been using for quite a while, and um, it could have a place in your workflow.